Welcome back to the channel and today I have a crazy experiment with the gyro stabilizers. My goal is to create a mono wheel that is not only gyro balancing, but gyro powered as well. And what I've done before I hit record was just come up with a proof of concept just to see if this has any legs to stand on or a single wheel to stand on for this matter. So the idea is, you can see I have four gyro stabilizers, one pointing towards each wall of this square wheel that is my prototype, just because it's quicker and easier to build a square wheel than a round wheel. My thought process is, if I activate each gyro in sequence, it should rotate the wheel using just the gyros themselves. So when I press number one, the gyro on the left will activate, pointing that side of the wheel up, and then two, three, and four will do, follow the sequence. So I'll go number one, and there you go. And I'll go number two, and then number three, and four, and so on. And this would probably be easier if I uh, have one. Oh, actually, no, this will not be easier. This is going to be complicated. Because so I was going to say, I should, have a, I should have a gyro stabilizer actually stabilizing the vertical... Uh, balance, but as soon as I start going, that vertical balance is no longer vertical. So there's gonna be a lot of uh, a lot of tricky parts to get this functional. But uh, the way I think it's going to have to work is sensors are going to have to trigger the gyros in sequence. So as the wheel rotates, yeah, I'm gonna have to do some logic here. But yeah, as the wheel rotates, the sensors are gonna tell which side then has to push that that part of the wheel upwards. This is going to be really hard. I also need the seat to stay upright and I need uh, to be able to turn. Yeah, there's a lot to this that may or may not end up working, but I think the journey there is going to be fun. The journey to success or the journey to failure. I don't know what path I'm on right now, but it's going to be fun either way. Okay, so first let's try to build a wheel shape with a cockpit seat that stays upright. I kind of like the operator seat just because it, it, it has a cool aesthetic to being in a vehicle like this. This one would kind of like fit nicely in a way, but I think this one will look nicer. When this wheel turns, I want it to lean, but I want the seat to not lean with it. So I got to figure that out as well. I think I just figured it out. Okay, so on the back of the seat, we are going to have a rotating servo that has no strength, perhaps. And then I'm gonna have this stabilizer. So this is gonna keep us upright as the wheel potentially, but then how does the wheel turn? I don't know, there's a lot, I, I, I don't know yet. I don't know yet how this is supposed to work, but let's just try to make a prototype and see what happens. All right, now we're gonna have another rotating servo with no strength and this is what's going to allow my seat to stay uh upright as the wheel spins i hope that this works in concept and then um i guess i can kind of have this no this has to be this has to be right here the one that's pointing upright in this direction cannot be after this rotation point point. and i did not leave room for the seat to actually rotate here there needs to be a bit of a separation All right, i'm gonna do a quick test here so this should stick into the ground. And then, ooh, why is this? It's a little bit wobbly, but, oh, that's on the wrong axis. Hold on. All right, so the idea is that the seat, you, no matter how this tilts, you can see that even when the side is trying to tilt forward and back, the seat stays upright. And then that doesn't, that's not working. It should, the seat should be staying upright. But you can see it's trying. Like, I think the glowing is indicating, like, resistance. The seat appears to be maybe colliding or getting stuck somewhere. Let me move this up to the top here. Oh, that's looking good. Yeah, so now as this goes, you can see the seat gets auto-corrected. Wait, why is it leaning? It should be going up. No matter what the angle is, my character is, for the most part, staying upright. This looks kind of cool. I like this. I like this thing. I feel like I'm on one of those robot arms. All right, well, I think I have my inside of the wheel thing set up. So now I have to build the wheel. Maybe I should just shape it with these squares first. All right, I'm thinking, I used a pixel generator to help me out here. I'm thinking that this size might be good to go with. All right, I can worry about the shape and durability of this wheel later first. I just want to attach the wheel to this thing and see if I can just start adding gyros and make it work as intended. 
or see if it starts to resemble working as intended. All right, now let's uh, add the gyros that are gonna be responsible for turning this thing. Where do I put them so they're not gonna actually get damaged on the rotation? They gotta be like right here, pretty much. All right, this is my hookup method. See, so yeah, I can't have it go, I can't put them like right here because this is gonna be sticking out. And if I put them right here, um, I can't do that on this side because of the pipes. All right, let's see if this thing works at all as intended. So I press number one, the one on the left uh, should rotate to the top. So number one, it's just not strong enough yet. Let's bump the strength up to five, all right? And number one, good. The wheel itself isn't gonna have any balance though. Hey, look, at least my seat's staying upright. All right, so number one, number two, number three, number four. Number one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Hey, it's kind of working. I actually, I wasn't paying attention to my seat. How's my seat looking? Okay, cool. Now, how does balance work on this thing though? Oh, whoops, I got confused there. How is how is balance going to work? Because this is completely independent of the wheel, and that's a problem because the wheel rotates. So if I try to add anything to the wheel for balancing, its axis is going to change completely as it rotates. But this thing doesn't have any uh, rigid connection to the wheel to stabilize it. I don't actually know how this works, how to balance the wheel. All right, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna copy these pipe pieces over to the other side. Oh, I can't. All right, I've reattached the gyros. So now I need, I'm gonna try to use this side of the pipes because this is obviously where the seat is attached to and it's on its own like gimbal. Now this side needs a stabilizing gyro uh, for a left and right balance of the wheel. So this, oh, it might interfere with the seat. All right, no, no, no. I just gotta move this out of the way. All right, I gotta put um, another free rotating servo here, and then I will attach it with uh, these flat connectors. And then now I can attach these to that servo. And then what's gonna keep this servo upright to then balance the whole wheel is another stabilizer right here. So this is gonna keep these pointing upright and these are gonna keep the wheel pointing upright. These are probably gonna have to be a lot stronger. I'll put them on four. Uh, it's a little shaky, but now I think I shouldn't, I shouldn't be able to tip over anymore. All right, now like, how do I try? I'm tilting. I don't like, I'm trying to tip it over. Oh, you know what I can do? I can put these on a control here. I'm just gonna say left control will toggle this off. It's actually, I'm, I'm having trouble tipping it over even without the balance enabled. How do I tip you over? See, I'm more evenly, you know why? It's because I'm more evenly balanced now. But like, can I try to tip off to the side? I can't even tip off to the side. I don't even know if my balance system works because I've made myself more evenly balanced by implementing it. Oh, here we go, here we go. And then control. Hmm, all right, we're a little bit wobbly. Am I gonna start falling over? All right, good, now press control. And I think that stabilized me out. Okay, I think in theory it's working. All right, now I need to make this actually like uh, more of a wheel. No, I need to I need to automate it first. So I need to use some logic. I need my on my forward gate essentially. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to program reverse into this thing. I, I that's a little bit it's a little bit over my head to be able to switch between forward and reverse because it's gonna change like what the sensors do. And I think it's going to be easier just to think about forward. Um, but I, I at least want to be able to stop because right now, if I have sensors that automatically activate these gyros to start turning the wheel, as soon as this thing hits the ground, it's going to start going. And I want to be able to make sure that I, I can toggle that off. So this is going to be my activate. So I'll just say W gives an output of one on this. So now each of these gyros needs an AND gate to accompany them. And that way, whatever sensor needs to activate, should be on and this uh, forward button needs to be on in order for the gyro stabilizers to be activated in their appropriate sequence. You know what, before I, before I even finish up with this sensor stuff, I just got an idea for potential turning. What if I use a gyro for turning? Okay, now they're too strong, but we're getting somewhere. All right, now you can see I can lean into the turns. Uh, I don't know if this is gonna make me turn, but there is a point of no return. Uh, even though both of these are on max power, they're not actually strong. You know what? I'm going to add another one. 
And then I'm just going to double the strength of this. All right, how about now? And we recover. Man, they're still not strong enough to just tip us upright. It's it's a it's an idea. It's in the early stages. Prototype concept for turning or, or leaning at least. And you see my seat is doing a great job at staying upright until it overdoes it. All right, let's get back to the sensor stuff. So both of these sensors need to detect the ground. And when these sensors detect the ground, I need it to trigger this to turn the wheel upwards. But I need it to be either, I want it to be either of those sensors. When either of these sensors detect the ground, or no, this could be forwards and reverse potentially. All right, well, anyway, uh, when this sensor touches the ground, it's going to activate this logic gate, which activates these gyro stabilizers. And when this one touches the ground, it goes to here. And when this one touches the ground, it goes to here. Then when this one touches the ground, it goes to here. And it's that simple. Wait, no, no, no. You shouldn't be going yet. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Because I didn't hook this and this or gate needs to also go into all of these and gates. All right. So now it shouldn't work until I press W. Now all I'm doing is holding W. Oh, I think I got it. I think I got it. I'm just holding W right now. It's a little bit of a bumpy ride, but it is working. Now let's try the steering. I'm going to turn left. Why is my seat turning left? Disable air control. All right, how about now? There we go. It actually steers this way. Proof of concept is totally working. And then if I release W, I should slow down to a stop. This is great. So I, I think I can, I think I can program reverse into this. So I've only used half the sensors. So now I can use the same sensor on the same, or not the same sensor. I can use the other sensor on the same side of the wheel to then trigger the reverse sequence. All right, so these are all the forward AND gates. I'm gonna need a separate AND gate for backwards, I'm pretty sure, so it doesn't interfere with the forwards command. All right, so now if, the, if I wanna go backwards and this sensor gets triggered, I then need this AND gate to get triggered to trigger these gyro stabilizers. And then the S button also triggers all of those backwards logic gates. So now I should have reverse when I press S. Yes, and if I press W. Oh, I do have forward and reverse. I didn't think I was gonna be able to figure that out at first, but it is totally working now. All right, so it actually seems, I was worried that the distribution of the sensors might cause an issue where they could be a, a point where I could stop and not have any sensor feedback, but it actually looks like it's pretty hard to do that, except right now. Right now I can't go forward because I need uh, one of the other sensors. That is a backward sensor, but it settles in. It settles in just like that. All right, so now what I would like to do ideally is make this thing rounder so it's less of a bumpy ride. Maybe put some suspension on it. And the problem with that is it's going to inevitably, uh, it's gonna, I'm gonna have to redo all the sensor locations because I'm gonna be blocking the sensors probably. Or not, no, maybe not. Maybe I will, maybe not. I just realized I had my HUD off this entire time. I just want to look at my complexity real quick. We are only at 161 blocks. I don't know how much complexity these gyro stabilizers add. Um, I feel like we should always have our complexity meter because it only gives you your complexity meter once you start reaching like 500 or so complexity. But right now I can't figure out how much complexity these things add. But I want to add a lot of suspension and that is going to add a lot of complexity. That's my problem. All right, so here's my solution, potentially. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if this is going to work yet. It makes me pretty bouncy, but I think my uh, suspension settings can help with that. So let's turn up the dampening a lot. Let's lower the stiffness a bit. Okay. Oh, no. We're good. Oh, we had like one little bounce. Oh, and I'm tipping over now. All right. So that is also a problem. The tipping over is a problem. So one of the things uh, that I think has been confirmed is the gyro stabilizers have a weaker effect if they take place after a rotating servo. The problem is I need these to take place after this rotating servo. So if I just had this gyro on a rigid connection to the wheel, it would be super strong by itself. But these three gyros at max power aren't even strong enough because they're attached to this rotating servo, which is buffering their strength to this wheel. So I guess just add more. All right. So now, okay. That's a problem. I'm not going to use that for steering anymore. I really wanted to lean into a steer but it might be 
hurting more than helping. I cannot stay upright. All right, I got one other potential, yeah, potential solution. And that is to have this on the outside of the wheel instead. So this whole system here gets rotated this way. So then I can copy and paste it over to the other side. And now I have double the power potentially. And hopefully it could work. All right, you can see I've also adjusted the, uh, the, the wheel treads, if you want to call them that. But right now I seem way more stable and I'm not falling over. So that's a good sign. Now let's try to add back in the steering concept. All right, let's see how strong this is. Not very. Oh yeah, there we go. There's the lean. Does this allow me to turn? That's the opposite direction that I want to turn in. All right, so the steering appears to work the opposite way. All right, I may... Oh, I may be able to do that thing where um, these steer, they like tilt and then that causes them, yeah, that could cause them to turn. All right, let's see if this was appropriately applied. So now on top of leaning, uh, the steering will also do that. That is so cool. So now when I go, yeah, it leans me in. I might want to change, oh boy, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to change the angle of that to be a little bit more subtle, I think. All right, you can see it's a little bit more subtle. Whoa, it's the opposite way again. Okay, I'm actually going to get rid of these from doing their thing now. I'm just gonna delete the controls, but leave them there in case I wanna try it again. So now there's gonna be no more lean, no more uh, gyro base leaning. All right, so this is having the opposite effect. I feel like it should lean me to the right when I do this. Well, it's not going to lean me to the right because I have the stabilization, but I am now turning to the right somehow. I don't know how. This is not intuitive. A lot of this is not intuitive, but I do think the lean feels better. It's just somehow I end up steering the other way. All right, I'm going to change the angle of these to like 15 degrees, maybe. Maybe it was uh, too small of an angle. Why does it turn me the other way? Like, I feel like there's a gyroscopic thing. See, now I, I've been holding it. Now it's swapped directions. I feel like there's a, like a gyroscopic procession or something happening. And now it's going the other way. I'm not changing my controls at all. It, it keeps wobbling back and forth. Hmm. This is very, very strange and difficult to get a beat on what's going on. Because, like, this looks so cool. I love the way that it rocks into it and how everything tilts. It's all pretty much working as I, I as I want it to work. It's just the results aren't what I want them to be. All right, I got one final last ditch uh, little hack to do then. I'm gonna add another gyro and this gyro is simply going to make me turn. So now I actually like rotate in that direction. Whoa, that's weird. It's having an unintended effect on my seat though. Look at that. That's not good. That's weird. It should be a different plane than any of those gyros are acting on. That that shouldn't be happening. Well, I'll increase the strength of these to like three. All right, now let's see what happens. All right, and turn to the right. Okay, it's too, it's too strong. Too strong. All right, turn left. Seems pretty good. Oh, it's too much. It's hard to it's hard to unturn. That's the problem now. If I turn right. Whoa, it's not even working now. Okay, this is uh, this is turning out to be a lot harder to get it to work exactly as I want it to be. But I'm so close. Like, I even have forward and reverse, and I, like, almost have turning. It's just, there's some weird forces happening, and the self-stabilization isn't 100% there. Oh, hold on. I think I see another spot I can add vertical balance right there. Oh, look how much stronger that is. Ooh. Okay. We're getting onto something here. Still having issues with the turning though, but it almost seems like it can correct itself and not fall over. So that is progress. Now I think I need to adjust this turning uh, gyro to just be a little bit stronger. We're so close. All right, see now it's like, it, it turns too sharp now. Oh boy, can you correct yourself from this? I don't think so. I'm just like so close to what I want. I'm gonna like, gonna kind of call a little bit of a victory and I'm gonna start shaping this thing to just look a little bit better than it does and then paint it up and see if this impacts us in, in a good or bad way 
All right, I've done some painting and some optimizing, and I really want to put a decal on this thing, but unfortunately, it is uh, one uh, square block wide, and you can only paint one decal on a block, so I'd only be able to actually paint one side of it because the decal cannot be on two sides of the same blocks. But uh, I tried to make up for it with uh, just... Do, doing normal color paint jobs and i've also did a little bit of tuning where i slowed down the strength of the rotating sequence uh gyro stabilizers and this just it has a much slower cruising speed which makes me uh avoid over spinning and destroying myself too much and also just makes everything more stable so although i'm not the fastest vehicle anymore i at least i can turn now like turning feels a lot more natural um, I don't tip over anymore. Like everything just kind of works more as I wanted it to work in the first place, which is kind of nice. And I'm actually a little bit curious what first person look. This is what first person looks like. All right, this is actually, this is actually not too bad. I like this actually. This is pretty cool. All right, hold on. I am, wait, I gotta try one thing though. I am curious if I can add a boost onto these. Oh yeah, using these. I Sometimes I forget that these space thrusters are a thing when I'm not in the space map. All right, let's check out my speed. This thing goes at about uh, 12 to 13 miles per hour. And if I hit the boost. Okay, it's uh, it goes faster, but it definitely doesn't feel the most stable. I start bouncing a little bit. Suspension settings could potentially help that and turning Not is great, but you know what? It's not too bad. I think it's worth it having the boosters there. All right This is actually pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with its design It ended up being more having it ends up having more functionality than I expected to put into it Oh, I actually haven't tried out reverse in a little while. Let's just confirm that reverse still works Okay, yeah, the lower strength you can definitely feel the difference, but Look at that. I can go backwards and I can go forwards and I now have a boost to go faster forwards, which I helps with acceleration if you want it to. So this is pretty cool. So let me know what you guys think of this. And if you have any other crazy vehicle concepts that could potentially work um, with all the new pieces that we have in Trail Makers, let me know down in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.